Hello everybody, welcome back to Tales of the Wonder Guard. I guess we still have town music even though you're escaping at night or the dawn. Um, so, you, you flee the town, head westward. You've had some sleep recently, so you can go for a while, but this is, this is another sleepless night for you. Um, maybe in the upcoming days you should get some rest. When do I get XP for all the um, people I'm we'll at the end. Alright. Or if you take like a week long break somewhere or something, you rest for a long period of time. Right. Yeah. That's okay. I'm at one HP. One HP. Alright, you, you heal one HP a night, and uh, then you get like full full rest. No combat, no running. Yeah. No strenuous activities, one HP per day. Yeah. So, how far to the next town? About another day's walk. You're leaving early morning, you're tired. You'll probably get there mid afternoon if you just keep going along this road. And I can mm -hmm. just go without sleep. Yeah. Okay. I'm just. Uh, what What's the size of the town I'm arriving at? Uh, well, let's see if you get there first. Yeah. Most it's... importantly. Uh, but Carwick is more or less the same size as Hund. Like thousands okay. of people ish. Um. So, you are... Is this a displaced beast mode with me? <laughs> no, 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 no. You are walking along the road maybe an hour later uh, when you hear the sound of horse hooves beating on the ground behind you. And you look up back to see like a plume of dust being kicked up by a horse rider or horse riders moving very quickly. It's kind of hard to spot. Um, but you can definitely, it's a loud noise in an otherwise very peaceful, quiet part of the world. I jumped to the side of the road. Is there any cover? Are there trees? Uh, there's a few trees and bushes along the way. The north side of the road has the river right next to it. Yeah, you're, you're more or less right about here. So the river is right next to you at the moment. Um, so the river's to the north. Uh, you're in a fairly well forested area, so there's lots of trees and bushes about. So yeah, I, I hide. You hide and wait, and a few moments later, a minute or two later, uh, four riders go past you at like full speed. Um, what do they look like? They have uniforms on. You can tell that they look like officers or some sort of military organization. Uh, they have chain mail and swords at their sides, no lances. One of them has a bow, but then as quickly as you see them, they're gone again. Okay. Their colors were uh, red and brown over black. And that didn't mean anything to me. Uh, no, you haven't really been paying attention to who the local no. lords okay. are. And, yeah. Okay. So I'm, I'm just uh, now remembering that my clothes are bloody as hell. So I'm going to the river to wash them. And I'm hoping that they will dry on my way to next time. You wash your clothes in the river. You've got the other set of clothes that are probably dry that's been in your backpack, yeah. but they're also bloodstained. Yeah, I washed them as well in the rivers. This time, or you did before? I did in the old river, I think. I think those clothes were still in the chest. The first I washed them also. Right. Well. You wash all your clothes. Put on some wet clothes and hope it'll dry. Okay. And there. what do you do with your other wet clothes? Just toss them in your bag because they're wet? Uh, <laughs> I mean, they'll mildew, but they'll dry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll buy some new ones. I got a lot of gold now. Yeah, you're wealthy. You're very wealthy. Yeah. You can buy that loot. And gold. Mm -hmm. You continue on your way. Um, your armor, you washed your armor. It's blood stained too, but it, it's thick leather. It'll dry eventually. Um, and you make your way towards town. A couple hours later, you see two riders, the two of the same riders that you saw coming your way before, uh, walking back along the road. Um, and they spot you from a, a good distance. It's very clear that you guys see each other uh, as you as they approach you and you approach them. Yeah, I, I, I smile and whistle. Oh, no, I sing. I sing. You sing. Give me a singing check. <laughs> That's a Ooh, good song. Very nice. Hmm. Uh, it was 18 and a, a 14. It's a 32 again. 
Uh, yeah. It's charisma. Mm -hmm. Like a soldier song. The bear and the maiden bear, or something. Um, 14 charisma. I think it's you a plus two reaction adjust anyway. And then the next song will give you another three reaction adjust. They, they see you and kind of stop their horses and go, uh, excuse me, traveler. Yes, sir. Have you seen anything suspicious along the roads? There was a, a man along here, a single man, that is suspected of some crimes back in Hund. Have you noticed any other travelers on the road? Well, I just came from Hund. Mm. When did seen... you set off? Oh, must have been a day ago, I think. You left a day ago? Yeah. Sleep out on the road? It's not that far to the next town. Well, I took a, a bath in the river and I took a nap. I was tired. Well, the guy kind of nods and the guy uh, reaches across. What, 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 uh... What, shakes him and what's him. happened? The, the one guy that shook the other guy leans in and whispers something. And the first man looks at you and goes, It's been murder. Oh my god. Brutal, brutal murder. Man and wife. I take out my. in the bedroom. I take out my children with Martha and, and kiss it. Mm -hmm. Right in front of their children, too. No, 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 no. That's Wrong awful. Blind. That's awful. Yep, only innkeeper in town. Was it the innkeeper? Mm-hmm. But he was so jolly. You know him. Yeah, I've stayed there. Yeah. Have you he noticed anyone nice suspicious man. around there? Hmm. There was another traveler who seemed a shady type. Can you describe him to me, please? No, I, I didn't really look at him. He, he, he scared me. Um, Surely you must have seen something. Yeah, well, he had a beard. And um, he was wearing a hat. Mm -hmm. with, a, with a feather, feather in it. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, I, I remember him saying to the innkeeper, God bless him, that he was going to Omskar. Interesting. Um, so, you said you washed your clothes and took a nap? No, I took a, a swim. You took, you took a swim, I'm yeah. sorry. And, and took a nap? Yeah. Why are your, your clothes still wet? Because I washed them. But if you napped, shouldn't they be dry by now? And you see his hand like slowly starting to move to the side. Um, I don't know, maybe they should. I'm walking here in the trees. Am I being accused of something? You match the description of the suspect pretty well. He's last seen heading this way. Do you think I killed the innkeeper? Very possible. Do you mind if we search you? Uh, of the innkeeper had a, a large sum of gold on him that should be. We just want to take a look through your belongings. You don't yeah. mind, do you? Uh, not at all. Okay. So, this is what happens. Um. What are they wearing? Chainmail and... Chainmail, uh, long swords. Yeah. Neither of these guys has a bow. Uh, one of them starts to dismount his horse, the other one stays on. Okay, how, how far is the river? river? Ten meters. Pretty okay. close. Perfect. So, yeah, I have it right here and I take out my dagger. Mm -hmm. And I just throw it at him. Give me a roll to hit. Uh, let me see if he's... Surprise. They're a little suspicious, but I don't know if they're really expecting you to attack them. The guy that you're throwing at does not see it coming. 11 plus 1 for surprise is a 12. The air catches him straight. In. Oh no, you have a you have high dex. Um, yeah, so plus so that's one, 1 to hit with missile. 13, the, the dagger catches him in his chainmail. And I run. That's my plan. I run towards now. the river? Yeah. Okay. 
You run towards the river. Uh, do I need to roll damage? Did it hit him? No, it, no. it hits the chain. Bounces off. Well. Okay. Falls to the ground. You only have one dagger left. <laughs> um, the, the man chases after you with a sword. Uh, I have a little bit of hairstyle. You do. And the other guy comes with his horse, and they both head towards the river. You jump in the river. Um, do you go across? Do you go downstream? Do you go upstream? Um, I follow the, the... The current? Yeah. And I see if I can... How far is it across? Oh, the river's only like four meters across. It's not very big. Is the current strong? You're going to find out as soon as you get in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go downstream. Okay. So you dive in, start heading downstream. You're not a proficient swimmer, so you're having a hard time in the water. It's a little bit deeper than you expected, and the current is pretty strong. I need you to give me oh, no. a constitution check. Please don't let me try. stay above water. Natural, Natural 20. 20. Not even a problem. Now so I get it. Yeah. You're, I mean, it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. really good. <laughs> uh, so you stay above pretty well. The other guy, so you leapt into the river. He didn't leap after you. He starts going down the side. The guy with the horse pushes his horse into the water. Oh, the horse rolls a one on his yeah. check to, to do whatever the horse does in water. And gets in, kind of freaks out, rears up, tosses the guy. The guy needs to make a check. Natural plan. The guy stays on the horse. The horse like rears up and comes back out on the side and refuses to go into the water. Um, and so one guy's walking down the side of the like running down the side of the river as you're trying to like paddle down as best yeah. as you can. The horseman comes back out on this side of the river. Yeah. Uh, and they're both on the, the road side of the river going down with you. Um, but, you know, the down horse can keep pace with you pretty easily and the guy in chain mail can walk after you or run after you pretty well. So you're he runs from his horse? Hmm? He runs from his horse? So one is off his horse already and one yeah. is on his horse. Okay. So, so how far can I see downstream? Pretty far. It's more or less a straight shot down the river, so you can see as far as you can see. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to you know get on the other side. Okay, not a problem. You make it to the other side um, as one of the men throws a dagger at you. No. Oh, it hits you. I'm dead. For three points of damage. Did, did I? Your back. Did I get over? You get over to the other side. Like he throws as you're climbing out onto the back. Right. Okay. Just, <clears throat> I'm at minus two. Back. You bleed to death. <laughs> <laughs> they don't take him and heal me? No, God, no. God, the savages. Yeah. Good game. This was not a, a game, a world for an honorable man. Uh, such as me. <laughs> <laughs> I was Dagger pretty good. in the back. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I just hope to die. <laughs> <laughs> um, to wrap it up, the... Your body is collected, the, the gold is returned to the man's children. All, all of your wealth is returned to their children. Yeah. Uh, your body is hung by its neck in the town square, with a sign dangling from your feet. And anyone that's been killed in the past month, their murder is blamed on you. Um, it's very convenient. Everyone says, oh, that must have been the murderer, that must have been the murderer. And dozens of people get away with killings as a result. Nobody recognizes the platinum ring. Uh, the platinum ring, which I thought you were going to sell to the jeweler, has an inscription on the inside of it that says, To my dearest, whatever his name was, from the name of the girl that. Martha. Martha. Uh, no, Marge. Marge. Yeah. yeah. To so and so from Marge, may our love be everlasting, was on the inside. My plan so was to, you know, leave it at the door, but yeah, yeah. I somehow forgot. Ah, uh, okay. But then again, I, I didn't, you know, then he would just be arrested and. Uh, Blame for the murders, and that would not really be yeah. my intentions. My intentions was, you know, just to spread fear or something. I was worried that you were going to sell it to the the dwarf, yeah, who would have like seen it, read the inscription, be like, sure, I'll buy this from you, and then turn me over to turn you over and be like, hold on, this man just started selling this thing, and some sort of connection. Yeah, yeah. 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 that was the intelligence. Check. That was the intelligence check to see if you would look to check the inside of the ring for the inscription. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Have any other any other mysteries that were in the campaign we need to reveal? Uh, how would you have gotten into the house? I don't know. 
Um, that would have been a hard one. I might have tried going from one roof clock to another. Yeah. Um, or. But he was inside in the mercenary. He was just one shot of them. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe if you found a. Like if you had that tightrope, did you take a tightrope walking proficiency? Nope. No. Maybe you could, if you had one, oh, like lasso to a chimney and then walking. walk from one chimney to the other, <laughs> and like Slay sneak the along, <laughs> <laughs> and then like sneak along the rooftops and climb yeah, up your yeah. window, or um, maybe there's something that could have been figured out about posing as a servant. Yeah, that that I thought about that as well. Maybe like when. Like hang out and watch the building all day, and if the servant comes out, yeah. uh, like uh, somehow trick the servant or force the servant into like saying, "Oh yeah, he's with me. We're going through the service entrance. No, yeah. no problem." And get in that way. I, I don't know. There's a lot of ideas. I don't know if any of them would have worked. No, it would have depended on the dice rolls. I mean, it's fun with the dice rolls. You know, if I had gotten one more mm-hmm. hit point in on March. Just one more. One more. That would have been it. I mean, I could have stabbed her if she was just crawling. I could have stabbed her, but then I might have get re- gotten recognized or mm-hmm. someone capable would have Oh, done yeah. The, the father was coming downstairs yeah. right then. He had a, a weapon in hand. Yeah. yeah. So my thought process was that this was another servant mm-hmm. and the others were upstairs. Upstairs. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Damn it. So it was close. fun. It was fun. So yeah, it was great. I was I would like for after yeah, to survive. Well, he will survive in spirit when yeah. dancing with death. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. All right. Cool. Well, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, I guess we'll see you guys in some other country for another episode of Tales of the Water Guard. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye bye.